Hey guys, it's Dagan from PMTV UK, and I'm here today to show you seven cheap guitars that don't suck. This is the Ibanez Geo Micro, in what I can only describe to be the nicest shade of yellow I ever did see. It is a three quarter length guitar, so it's a little bit shorter and not just that aggressively tall. So it's perfect for the young and starting out and a perfect travel guitar if you want to hide in your suitcase when you blast off to Tahiti, leave your nice Ibanez in the house. Just because it's cheap as well, it does not compromise on tone. Certainly doesn't compromise on looks. Paul Gilbert actually has his own signature guitar of these guys that he uses on, on tour. Uh, just like to get those crazy Gilbert stretches on the go. It's, it's awesome, it's perfect for practicing on as well. Backstage and whatnot. Some of the specs though, it's got a poplar body, string through bridge, Ibanez Infinity R humbuckers, nice high output modern pickups, one volume, one tone, three way selector, maple neck with a maple fretboard and 24 of Ibanez's finest frets. Ibanez tuners, I'm talking too much, let's hear it some more. <laughs> And because it's a shorter guitar, there's less string tension, so you can get some crazy bends on the go. Also makes you pull stupid faces like that. Like I mentioned before, the Infinity R humbuckers are quite high output, which makes them great for rock and metal music. But when you rock out on a clean sound, it means there's amazing clarity. So there we have it. The Ibanez Geo Micro Guitar in yellow also comes in a variety of vivid, lovely 80s colors as well. This is the Epiphone SG Pro. This shape needs no introduction. The SG is one of the most iconic guitars in rock and roll history. Used by the likes of Angus Young, Robbie Krieger, Dweezil Zappa, Tony Iommi, and Derek Trucks. It's a beautiful thing that resonates like nothing else and looks like nothing else. I'm an SG user myself, so I'm kind of gushing on about this guitar. The first time I ever saw a guitarist live on the telly was Angus Young. Uh, and at the time of recording this video, Malcolm Young died yesterday, so RIP to Malcolm Young. Uh, leave some hearts in the comments down below if you love ACDC and it's affected you in the same way it affected me. Anyways, back to the guitar. The differences between this and the Gibson are minimal, probably thanks to the way it's, the way it's constructed. It's a mahogany body, a mahogany neck. It's got a slim taper D profile. It's a glued in neck as well. On a guitar this price, it's pretty, pretty crazy. It's got our Nico Classic pickups in, a three-way selector, one volume, one tone, uh, with coil tapping capabilities, so you can pop these out and split the humbuckers so they sound single coily like a Stratomacaster. 22 medium jumbo frets, Epiphone Deluxe tuners. It's a rock and roll beast. Let's play some more rock and roll on it. <laughs> Doesn't just do ACDC though. Thank you. 
Let me show you some clean sounds and get the coil tapping on the go. So this is the neck pickup in full humbucker mode. Coil tap out. Let me show you the bridge pickup as well. This is full humbucker. Coil split. So it makes it a little bit thinner, a little bit more sparkly, like a Strat. So this guitar plays, looks, and sounds amazing. It's a perfect guitar to get if you want to look like your idol, stand in front of the mirror and rock out. If the little one wants to play as well, it's not an expensive guitar, but it looks and sounds like a Gibson. It's great. I always think that if something looks good, you'll pick it up. It's all well and good getting a guitar that's nice and cheap, but if it doesn't look good, if you don't want to pick it up, you won't get any better, you won't play guitar. So if you get one of these, look at it, it's got bloody devil horns on it. It's awesome. And this is the Squire Affinity Telecaster. If you were to put a gun to my head, I probably could not tell you how Fender managed to make a guitar like this for the price. Fender, well, Squire, it's all, it's all the same, really. The Affinity series come in a plethora of colors and the choice of maple and rosewood necks. Obviously, Telecaster are used by the likes of Keith Richards, Jeff Buckley, Joe Strummer, Prince, Brad Paisley. Very, very, very well-known guitars. The first electric guitar ever made in 1951, I think. Crazy, crazy good guitars. This guy is obviously the cheapest Squire that they make. It's, it's just a Telecaster through and through. It's got that lovely twang because of the body shape and the neck. It's an Alder body, two single coil pickups, three-way selector, one volume, one tone, straight up. It is a lovely satin maple neck. This one obviously has a rosewood fretboard. So this is the perfect axe if you want a cheap way to get that iconic Telecaster sound, either playing in your bedroom if you're starting off, or you want to add another sonic layer to your live sound or recordings. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not just for country and twangy stuff as well. Remember, Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine was recorded on a Telecaster. And not a very expensive Telecaster, I might add. That's enough of me talking. Let's hear it. I'm just gonna mention, this is fresh out of the box. It hasn't been set up and it's it plays absolutely amazing. The satin neck is a lovely feel. It'll multi-hand over time as well. The fact that there's not a, a thick layer of paint on it. But yeah, this is the neck pickup. It's an unexpected harmonic there. Middle position. You're gonna tell that to Telecaster straight away. It's great. This is the bridge pickup. Nice and honky and spanky. I'm gonna do it. Sing along. So that was a short little demo of some of the fantastic sounds you can get out with the Squire Affinity Telecaster. 
This is in silver with a rosewood neck. It comes in a plethora of colors and the choice of rosewood and maple necks, like I said before. <laughs> This is the Epiphone Slash Special. This isn't just any Slash Epiphone, this is the AFD guitar outfit. AFD obviously meaning Appetite for Destruction. It's got the same color amber top as the Les Paul he famously used to record and play live in 19... Ah, 89. I love that album, I should know that. Let's go 1989. If I'm wrong, tear me to shreds in the comments down below. It is a beautiful looking thing. Like I said, flame maple, amber top. It's got Slash's lovely skull and crossbones and the top hat. Uh, signature on the headstock. It's got two uh, ceramic Epiphone pickups, one volume, one tone, three-way selector, stop tail piece. Forgot to mention what the outfit thing was. When you buy this guitar, you get it with a Slash branded gig bag, free Slash picks, a strap, a cable, and free online lessons from the lovely people at Epiphone. So it comes in one big pack for beginners and pros alike. People just really dig Slash, and it's not an expensive guitar. It's got an Okum body, an Okum neck, the neck is a lovely like C profile, very, very slash, because the 58 necks were quite, quite chunky. That's where all the Les Paul tone comes from. One of the cool little quirks as well is, there's a tuner built into the pickup surround, which is great. Obviously, cream pickup surrounds, zebra pickups. This thing absolutely screams slash. It's just so cool, man. Let's play some more guns around. Man. Miss them calls up there. Shh, don't tell Slash. <laughs> Long time since I've played that solo, but it does sound very, very slash. Apologies for the mistakes there, but I'm gonna do this.
that lovely, I know I'm, I'm boring you with so many Guns N' Roses riffs, but it's, it's a lot of fun to play. It's got that lovely Gibson Les Paul. <laughs> It's such a thick sound and every single note in the chord is ringing out. So there we have it guys, a short little video of how not to play every single Guns N' Roses riff off Appetite for Destruction. Now, it's an amazing guitar, the Epiphone Slash outfit comes with a bag, like I said. It's a stunning guitar to play, it resonates like a, like a proper Les Paul. It's astounding. is the Squire Bullet Strat. The Bullet Strats are the cheapest strats that Fender, well, slash Squire make, but that does not mean the compromise on playability or tone. The thing plays amazing and it sounds like a Strat. A bloody Strat for just over 100 quid with that name on the headstock. It's remarkable. It's got a basswood body, three single coil pickups, usual for a Strat, a vintage style six screw tremolo, one volume, two tones, a five weight selector to go through between the pickups if you're not sure what the pickup combinations are, down is one, then these guys, then that, that guy, then these guys, then this guy. It's got a lovely satin maple neck, lovely and smooth, a nine and a half inch radius rosewood fretboard with 21 lovely Fender frets on it. Good tuners, because that's one of the things that kind of suck with cheaper guitars, the tuning capabilities. But this guy, the great, obviously Squire is made by Fender, so you know it's gonna be good even when you hammer the tremolo a wee bit. Obviously the Stratocaster is one of the most iconic shapes in rock and roll, used by obviously Jimi Hendrix. Jeff Beck, John Mayer, my fave, uh, who else, Eric Clapton, everybody has got a Strat in their arsenal somewhere or another and this is one you can get either if you're starting out and you want the kind of lovely chimey Stratty sound or if you want to have one in the studio or if they noodle on, they play amazing and like I said for just over 100 quid it's a lot of guitar here. So obviously clean sound, neck pickup of a Strat, it's one of the sweetest sounds to a guitarist ear. <laughs> lovely bell-like tone, it's so good man, it's so good. Let's move it down a notch to these two pickups. Middle pickup. These two guys, proper spanky kind of, I spat so much there, sorry. And obviously the bridge pickup. Let's hear it with some dirt, and I forgot to mention one of the best strat players to ever walk the earth, Stevie Ray Vaughan. If you don't know who he is, Google him. Marvellous Squire Bullet Strat. A fantastic guitar, but well, it's a Strat, isn't it? You know it's going to be good. This is something slightly different to the other guitars I've been chatting about. This is a Yamaha Pacifica 012, 
but part of a bundle. You get this beautiful Yamaha Pacifica with a Line 6 Spider Classic 15 amplifier and a bundle of PMT offer for an extremely good price. I actually have a whole 15 minute video somewhere in the depths of YouTube on the PMTV UK channel. I have stupid hair on it, but I have a video explaining all the sounds this does. But for now, I'm gonna to talk to you about what the guitar can do compared to the rest of the other guitars, keeping the same amp sounds that I've used in the rest of this little video. The Pacifica name has been around for a very, very long time. And the reason they're still going is because they're amazing quality, amazing value for money, and they sound absolutely kick ass. This version here is in metallic blue, the new metallic red version, a black one and a white one. It's got a lovely smooth satin maple neck, rose with fingerboard, one humbucker and two single coils. So the variations in this guitar is pretty crazy, are pretty crazy. Get your grammar correct, Dagan. You can do everything from rock and roll stuff, go up to the single coils and get a bit spangly and nice, get some Hendrix on the go. One volume, one tone. Uh, I haven't got the arm in at the minute, but it's got a six screw vintage style tremolo. This with the amp is a beginner's dream, or even if you just want something in the house to mess around with, or you've got a flat somewhere else, you want a little guitar and amp combo there. For the price we've got this going for, it comes with a strap, guitar picks, cable, everything you could possibly need. There's nothing really better. It's, uh, it's great, it does everything. Let me show you what it sounds like some more. So like I was saying, with the three pickups in this guy, controlled by the five-way selector, obviously bridge humbucker, next position, these two coils, spanky strap kind of sound, middle pickup, these guys, then this guy, one volume, one tone, it can do any sound under the sun. You get that lovely thick sound with the humbucker. To the single coils. So the guitar plays and sounds amazing, but the main perk about this guy, like I said, is it comes with that Line 6 Spider 5 amp. It's got everything from old Marshall Plexi sounds, going through to full on Mesa Boogie Dewey Rectifier, crazy metal sounds, loads of effects built in as well, built in tuners, you can plug your headphones in and just jam in the living room with yourself or plug an iPod or some variant of tablet into it and uh, jam along with uh, your favorite records. Let's hear some clean sounds now. You can hear there how hot this pickup is. You can dial it down by turning the volume down, obviously, but on that clean sound, it was getting a bit of fizz on it. It's very, very nice. I've noticed about this thing resonates quite a lot as well. It feels like that, um, like the Slash Les Paul we were playing before. It's obviously polar opposite guitar than the Les Paul, but it's got a nice resonance to it. It feels like you're playing something, something special. Very, very nice. But yeah, like I say, check out my big 50 minute video when I've got a stupid white streak in my hair on the PMTV UK YouTube channel. To be talking about everything the amp does, everything the guitar does. It's a perfect gift for Christmas for your kids or even for yourself. It's a quite a big box though, so you're gonna have trouble hiding it. <laughs> I could not talk about seven cheap guitars without mentioning this guy. This is the Washburn PLX100. Quite an expensive guitar, but PMT have the world's most epic sale on Washburns at the minute. So this is a very high quality guitar for just over 300 quid. So you have to have something to start with and you don't want to get something beginner or you want something in the arsenal, which is, well, looks absolutely badass. This is the guy for you, and this is the time to get it from us lovely people at PMT. Some specs on this bad lad is that it's got a basswood body. It's obviously a single cut, so a very familiar, comfortable shape. It's got a lovely carved top on it, so the top's nice and 
raised like that. It's stunning. One volume for each of the Duncan designed pickups, which are Seymour Duncan pickups. String through uh, bridge design, one tone, uh, a lovely shiny as hell rosewood fingerboard with 24 frets, a lovely parallax logo on the 12th fret. Obviously this is from the parallax series of guitars. PMT's amazing parallax sail washburn guitars. One of the craziest things for me though is the the bloody access you can get. Look at that car there. Like, you can reach the pickup with how much access there is up there. Normally on a single cutaway guitar, like a standard Les Paul, uh, it's, you get to like here and you've got a stretch. This guy, you can just play the pickup. It's remarkable. Washburn have an amazing ability to make stuff like that on their guitars. And I believe it's because Mr. Washburn used to be a witch, I think. Don't quote me on that and don't hit me, Mr. Washburn. Anyways, this guitar is fantastic. It feels absolutely rock solid. Like I say, it's a more expensive guitar than what I'm harping on about. It's got Grover machine head, so it stays in tune remarkably. The whole thing resonates like an absolute bad lad. Let's play some more stuff on it. With it being string through as well, the sustain is remarkable. <laughs> What's weird is 24 frets on a single cutaway guitar. Usually these kind of guitars are Gibson or Epiphone, so you get 22 frets. But this guy, two octaves. It's like the only metal I know. Not all fun and games metal alone. This thing cleans up astoundingly like so. So there we have it guys, a short little review and some sound bites of the extremely sleek, beautiful, thick sounding Washburn Parallax PLX PXL 100V. So I hope this video has helped a little bit and I hope I've covered enough bases for you to show you some of the guitars I believe are cheap, but really, really, really don't suck. They're all absolutely great. A few little sound bites, some specs on them. I hope it's helped out a little bit, whether it's a gift for someone else, a gift for yourself. This video is going out just before Christmas as well, so. Make someone's day at Christmas and get them a lovely Strat or Telecaster or SG or Les Paul. Hopefully it's helped you decide or them decide which one is right for them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to PMTV UK on YouTube for lots more cool guitar and music related content. If you want any more info on any of the guitars I've chatted about, any variant of them, or anything musical really, we sell amplifiers, keyboards, pianos, drum kits, whole PA systems, it's pretty crazy. Go to pmtonline.co.uk or call into one of our forever expanding PMT stores. Each one of our lovely stores has its own Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. Be sure to like your local one or every last one of them to see what we've got going on. I've been digging, and I hope it's helped. I'll see you next time.